So, hello, after six, I, I assume nobody will be joined early, um, and that's fine. You can just pick us up on the... So, we're nearly there now. The plan is to get everything finished by half term. So, uh, what we've got left is 11.8 uh, finding areas. So this is the areas underneath the, the curves. Uh, you've covered this in lower sick, so you may want to just remind yourself by looking back at the lower sick chapter. But obviously we can just now accompany the extra skills we've got so we can be finding area under the curves when we've got sin or cause or um, um, whatever. So, um, so the plan is that you will please work through the um, finding area uh, questions today, but not only today, Mr. Kent says he has finished his work with you, so I'm pinching his uh, uh, Friday lesson period two. So I'm really thinking that for you to have a decent go at some of these finding area questions, it's going to need a couple of hours. So that's now and that is um, Friday period two, and that will then leave us when you see me Friday period four we can just cover the trapezium rule, which is a nice, easy, standalone topic. It used to be covered in AS math, so it's not that difficult. So that would be quite a nice one to finish with on Friday period four, and then we are done and dusted. So, um, as I'm sure you can remember, just looking at example 22, it's just finding the area under the graph between four and zero, you just literally do the definite integral between four and zero. So you integrate, substitute in the four, substitute in the zero, take one from the other. So um, example 22 is really reminding you of what you did at lower sixth. And as I said before, um, we can now really just accompany some extra skills we've got that we picked up in upper sixth. So example 23, we've just got sin and cos coming into play. So, um, but obviously just in the context of finding an area. So remember, if you're trying to find a, a sub area like this, you take the higher, you start with the higher one and take away the lower one, okay? Because obviously the area under the higher one would be all of this section here. And then if you then take away the area under the G function, you're just left with the area there. So, um, so it'd be F of X, then sub take away G of X. So that's example 23. Yes, now just be, um, depend I'm not sure about which version of the textbook you've got. Um, the um, parametric equations can come into this. So uh, if you haven't got example 24 in your textbook um, and you're using your textbook rather than your online version, it might just be worthwhile going onto your online version and printing off this example because this certainly did not use the textbook. Maybe it is in the textbook now. And, um, and then that's it. So I don't, I think realistically, you're not going to get all the questions done for the area in two hours, but um, that's fine. Just, just pick, pick your way around it and see which ones you can do. So, uh, so to conclude, we've got the two lessons, uh, today's lesson and Friday period two, which would have been Mr. Kent's lesson to really have a go at some of these 11H questions. And then we will go live again at Friday, period four, just to finish off and do 11.9, the trapezium rule. And then we are done and dusted. So I don't know if anybody joined me. I, I feel I might have heard a microphone come on partway through that. But if not, I'm totally fine with you guys just watching this on a recording rather than having to get up for a 9.10 start. OK, guys, that's it. Cheers.